Coach Nikki. Uh, today I'm going to be going over some conditioning exercises, which is normally what we do at the end of class at our north location, um, and it's kind of sprinkled throughout at our southland. So I know we've done a lot of conditioning today. Uh, this is mostly for greens. Blues can also do it as well. So we're just going to do a few different conditioning exercises that will again help us with the rest of our gymnastics, but not tire us out too much because I know that y'all have already done a lot today. So first one we're going to do is just sit-ups. So keeping our feet about half width apart, we're going to go down. We're going to sit all the way up, try to cover our ears. Again, this isn't a super important part of necessarily getting stronger, but it is very important during gymnastics when we're doing pretty much all of our skills to keep our arms up here. So in all of our conditioning, we want to think about just adding that in so that our body gets used to it and uses that muscle memory when we're going throughout class. So we're going to lay back, arms by our ears, pull up, arms by our ears is one, go back down, all the way up, arms by our ears two, and we're going to do 25 of those. Again, that's working on our abs and just muscle memory when we come all the way up. The next one we're gonna do is our planks. So we can go on our elbows like this and we're gonna hold for about 45 seconds. So we're just gonna go up, keeping our legs together or hip width apart is totally fine. And just make sure that you're squeezing your whole body even if it's really hard and you can look at your hands so you don't hurt your neck. And again, we're gonna hold for 45 seconds. And once they're done, just have their knees come down and then you can kind of stretch it out, make sure they're stretching out their abs so that they can keep on going. And the last one that we're gonna do is our swimming kicks. So a really big important part of gymnastics is getting our hollow body down. And a lot of our skills require this on the bars, on the beam, on the trampoline, and on the floor. So when we do our hollow body, we're gonna have our arms by our ears, of course, and we're gonna lay back with our feet off the floor. Basically the only thing touching the floor is from here to my lower back. And then I can put my arms here and hold them, or I can put my arms out here, and I'm just gonna kick my feet. So we call them swimming kicks, so as we're kicking and we're just looking at our toes. And normally we do this for around 30 to 45 seconds, uh, just depending on whatever the child needs. And then we just come on up. So now we were getting to work on our abs a lot. Uh, for our arms, we're gonna do some push-ups. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that they're actually going all the way down with our uh, arms. So sometimes when um, the students are doing push-ups, they'll bend their body and set up their arms. So you wanna make sure that they're actually bending their arms, keeping their body still, and pushing all the way back up every single time, and that they're not cheating that. Uh, push-ups are pretty difficult for them, so I would only have them do about 10 max, take a little bit of a break for our arms, uh, and then move on to our next position. So that's only gonna be four exercises, but they have done some extra today. Uh, so that's gonna be all of our conditioning.